Children suffering from wasting are up to 11 times more likely to die than well-nourished children. This makes wasting one of the most significant contributors to child mortality. And yet, current treatment services reach only one-third of the children in need. These services must become more accessible and easier to implement, which is where simplified approaches come in. Simplified approaches aim to increase the availability of a more efficient and effective model for the early detection and treatment of wasting in facilities and communities. Simplified approaches vary by context. There is no singular protocol, rather a series of modifications. Here are seven of the most common modifications. Training caregivers to monitor their children at home frequently, using MUAC tapes so wasting is detected early. Moving treatment services closer to home by engaging community-based workers to deliver treatment. Using simpler tools to admit children for treatment, like MUAC or edema screening. Expanding cutoffs to include more high-risk children for treatment. Shifting from multiple treatment products to one treatment product for all wasted children in need. Simplifying and optimizing the dosage of RUTF to reduce costs and make services easier to implement. Reducing the frequency of appointments during treatment to ease issues regarding access. No matter the context, strong monitoring mechanisms must be established to ensure quality standards are met. There is a lot of noise and talk out there. The best place to find useful information is the Simplified Approaches Toolkit, specifically the Starter Pack, which has a series of evidence summaries and quick guidance notes. You'll find the toolkit along with other resources and guidance at simplifiedapproaches.org.